Hi, I'm Mike. What's up? I'm Ryan. My name's Chris. And I'm Brent. This is the story of four adventurers. This custom striped RV is our home for the summer. This is an epic journey across Canada. The mission of a lifetime that we're calling Project Adventure. Day 47. And we're headed to Montreal for an Olympic hockey training session. We went into this with no gear, so the sport experts hooked us up with some gear. I've never bought anything hockey related, so it was really exciting getting suited up in full pads, brand new skates, and a sweet new stick. Hockey is Canada's sport. We are all ready to get out on the ice. It's the greatest feeling just stepping out on the ice again. The last time I played hockey was in the menacing rink my first time ever playing hockey, so this should be interesting. The Canadian Olympic women's hockey team's coach, Danielle Savageau, was there. Tell me what we're going to be doing today. Well, today we're going to do a couple of drills that used to be done with the uh, national women's hockey team. So we're going to work on mobility, agility, passing, and obviously shooting. How did it feel to be the first women's ice hockey head coach to take home the gold in nearly 50 years? Well, the reality is each time Team Canada step on the ice, yeah. you have to play for goal. And that day, that's something that we had not done in 98, and we started to do in 2002. And that's why since 2002, we are the Olympic champ. We wanted the full experience of what it's like to train as an Olympic hockey player. No breaks in hockey. Danielle and Kim were so nice. Up until it was time to start the drills. And she was making us do some crazy drills. I was so tired by the first 15 minutes. So out of shape. They were a bit tricky, but after a little while, I think we got the hang of it. Kind of. <laughs> Obviously, we didn't have the endurance of an Olympian, but we went as hard as we could. The coolie was really tough. It's blocking all our shots. So I'm here with Kim St. Pierre, and she's a gold medal Olympic goalie for the Canadian women's hockey team. So, what did it take to make it to the Olympics? A lot of hard work. Uh, I yeah. played with the guys until I was 18 years old, oh, and then yeah. transitioned to women's hockey. But I had the privilege to be to three Olympic games and win three gold medals. And a lot of hard work, but I'm so proud of what I've uh, accomplished. Where do, where do you think the future lies ahead in ice hockey? For women? Well, right now in Canada, there's about over 100,000 women playing hockey in this country. There's about 40 to 50 in the States and obviously globally. It is a men's sport driven, but here in Canada, I think hockey drives this country, no matter if you were women or men. Finally, it was time for a scrimmage. It was game time. Chris and Mike had their New York jerseys on, and Ryan and I had our Leafs jerseys. It was gonna be a battle. I love this game. Hockey looks hard, and it is pretty hard to play. During the scrimmage, I had to give Ryan a little nudge into the wall. He'll be all right. We were going all out. What happens on the ice stays on the ice. I had to throw down the gloves, and it was on. I'm surprised they both stayed on their feet the whole fight. After that, we were cool. They'll settle that over a couple beers. Carving around on fresh cut skates was great. Shooting a puck was wicked. That was probably the best thing that I was good at all day long. Chris actually did a phenomenal job for playing hockey for the first time in his life. I had no clue what I was doing. I was just skating as hard as I could and uh, slapping that puck in the net. Definitely sparked something for me. Uh, I want to play hockey a lot more in the future. It's so much fun. It was just great to be back on the ice and handling the puck. Worked on my slap shot, worked on some wrist shots. I really want to thank Tim St. Pierre and Danielle Savageau. We appreciate all the coaching you guys gave us. We're definitely going to use this in the future. Montreal, awesome city. Can't wait to go back during a hockey game. Next time on Project Adventure. 
we head to Ottawa, the capital of Canada. We stop at the Hudson's Bay store to meet up with John Leslie so he could show us his city from a hot air balloon. We headed over to Bowmanville to kick it country style at the Boots and Hearts Festival. Follow our journey across Canada on BeInsider.com. Hashtag Project Adventure.